So today we're continuing to solve equations with variables on either side. Now we're looking at if they include grouping symbols such as brackets or parentheses. In this case we have 2t equals 10 times the quantity in parentheses t minus 1. In order to simplify this we'll distribute the 10. We get 2t equals 10t minus 10. Now we want to combine all of our like terms so that means we have to get our like terms on the same side as one another. So let's subtract the 10t from both sides. We get 2t minus 10t equals negative 10. 2t minus 10t is negative 8t that's equal to negative 10. Let's divide both sides by negative 8 to get that t all by itself. We get t equals, it's a positive, 10 over 8. If we divide the top and bottom by 2, we get a positive 5 over 4 for my final answer. We could also write that as 1 and 1 fourth. Alright, so let's look at an example that involves decimals and grouping symbols on both sides. Let's always start by distributing everything we've got. We've got 5a minus 5 times 4, which is 20, equals 3a plus 3 times 1.5, which is 4.5. Let's get all of our like terms on the same sides as each other. So I'm going to take... 3a away from both sides and I'm going to add 20 to both sides because of that my 3a's are going to cancel out on this side my negative 20 will cancel out with my positive 20 on this side I end up getting 2a equals 4.5 plus 20 which is 24.5 I'll go ahead and divide both sides by 2 I end up getting A equals 24.5 over 2, which is 12.25. So let's look at a couple unique cases uh, with equations um, involving variables on both sides. So I don't know about you, but I don't like um, dealing with fractions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by the denominators of these fractions. First, let's get rid of this one third, or I'm sorry, this one third here, by multiplying both sides by that denominator. If I multiply by 3, watch what happens. I get 9x plus one third times 3, which is 1, because the 3 is crossed out. And I also have to multiply the other side by 3 to keep the equations equal. So I'm going to get 9x minus. 3 times 1 half is 3 over 2. Now I can uh, get rid of this 3 over 2 by multiplying both sides by its denominator 2. I'm going to get 18x plus 2 equals 18x minus 3 over 2 times 2 which is going to give me 3. Now let's get all my terms on the same side that are alike. So I'll subtract 18x from both sides and I'll subtract 2 from both sides. These cross out, these cross out, and actually these cross out as well to give me 0 equals negative 3 minus 2, which is negative 5. We know that 0 does not equal negative 5. So this means that this equation has no solutions. Nothing is going to work for x to make that equation true. So anytime you get a number that isn't equal to another number, you know that that equation has no solutions. There's also another interesting case. We have 2 times the quantity 2x minus 1 plus 6 equals 4x plus 4. To simplify this, we'll distribute the 2. We get 4x minus 2 plus 6 equals 4x plus 4. Um, we can combine some like terms here. We get 4x 
plus 4 equals 4x plus 4. We subtract the 4 from either side. We subtract the 4x from either side. Notice everything crosses out. So we get 0 equals 0, which is true. This means that this has solutions everywhere. I can put any number in for x, and my equation will hold true. So this means I have infinite number of solutions. So those are my two unique cases. That's how you solve equations with variables on each side involving grouping symbols. And this will conclude our lesson.